Continua. I am nine years old and I live in Charlotte, MC. Today we're going to talk and learn about order of operation. This is a short form right here, OOP. And order of operations is really a series of steps a person has to follow in order to uh, perform these problems and solve these problems. And so, what well, first we're going to do is. Really, this PEMDAS right here, I wrote it because I have to know this in order to solve this. And PEMDAS is an acronym for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is the series of steps you have to do to solve all of these problems. And this is the simple um, word of operations. In the next video, we're going to do more complex and uh, six and seven numbers and operations. And so, <clears throat> first we're going to talk about a problem I'm going to give. Now, <clears throat> to really do order of operations, you should know the first, the first operation, the addition. Second operation, the subtraction, third operation, the multiplication, and the fourth operation, the division. If you don't know these, you can't do this um, order of operation. But it's really, a, you have to do it in a different order. And so first we're going to talk about this problem right here. 7 plus 6 times 12. Now, see, you might think this is so easy and... I can do this, I don't have to watch this video, but really, this is a really hard thing to learn. Well, not a really hard thing, but different than real, um, real, like, operation solving. And this, you have to do it in a different, um, different, uh, sequential order because of this PEMDAS right here. Now, in this PEMDAS, you see multiplication comes before addition. And there's a multiplication sign and the addition sign, and multiplication comes before addition. So, you actually have to do this whole thing right here. You have to do that first, and not this, 7 plus 6 first. That is a common misunderstanding in order of operations, and... That is actually wrong. And 6 times 12 is 72. And I did say that you have to know the uh, four basic operations to solve this. And then there's this left. Um, left. And 7 plus. So you add this over here, 7 plus. 72 is equal to 79. So, to give a review out here, order of operations is really a series of order you have to do to solve these problems. And so, first you have to do, you have to solve operations in parentheses or brackets, like these ones. Like this, like 5 plus 6, maybe. And exponents, like... 3 and um, 2 on top. So exponents really, and I'm going to start um, something um, new here. And so exponents are really um, how many times you multiply that same number. Like, let's see, that, yeah, let's do that example problem. 3 squared, and this is actually called squared. And when there's 3 and a 3 on top, that's cubed, and when it's Four or more, it's called the, to the fourth power, to the fifth power, to the sixth power. But now, three with a two on top is the same thing as this. Because this two right here is telling us how many times we need to multiply, I mean, like how many uh, number of times the three has to come. And so, that's 2 over here, so it's 
So 3 times 3, that's equal to 9. Now, that may sound easy to you, but the cube is a little harder. Because when you get to like maybe 7th grade, I'm only going to 4th grade now. Um, but when you get to like 7th grade, they might give you like these ones. And it will, it might be easy, um, I mean, hard to solve, complicated to solve. But it's the same thing as 15 times 15 times 15. If you rewrite this all down and multiply it with long multiplication, you'll get the answer. But 3 and to the power of 3, or 3 with the 3 on top, is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3. Because it says over here, there needs to be three threes. And this is the base, and this is the exponent. Write this down. This marker actually works good sometimes, not so good sometimes. But this is the base, and this is the exponent. exponent. And so... We're done with exponents. Now, multiplication and division, and I wrote here from left to right, because multiplication and division, addition, subtraction, they're both different than parentheses and exponents. This tells us to do these operations from left to right. So, say there's a division first in the multiplication. You have to do the division first, because that's, um, that's in the left, and that's the first thing you have to do. And that's the same thing as addition subtraction. Maybe subtraction is um, a, a, like before addition. Then you have to do subtraction first, not addition. Um, uh, not about like, you, you don't do it in this order, like really automatically. You just uh, do this from left to right and not just uh, PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. You don't follow that order um, sequentially accurately, but you do it in P-E and then M-D and A-A-S. M-D is pair and A-S is a pair. Now, we talked about that. Now, let's do the practice problems. And if you feel you're not ready or something, you can just replay the video. Um, but... For people who feel like they're ready and wants to um, challenge themselves or something, you can do this practice problem right here. Now, I'll give you about one minute of time. Or you can pause the video if you want. Um, it's your choice. But I'll give you one minute um, time. Thirty seconds left. Okay, I feel like I've given you enough time to solve these problems. If you feel like you haven't given given enough time you can pause the video now but if you feel like you've given enough time um uh, you're on your way to solve your problems and uh you can see i have put an neg that means a negative this one is a negative uh if you if you need your um if you need help with the negatives i'll actually um do this um with steps like which steps on the board. Now, 7 plus 2 times 6. I'm going to read all of them and then let's, um, we'll do the problems. 7 plus 2 times 6. That's the first problem. 6 plus 3 times 6. Second one problem. 7 plus 1 times 4. Third problem. 9 plus 8 divided by 2. 
Fourth problem, 7 minus 6 times 2. Fifth problem, 7 minus 12 divided by 3. Uh, that is the um, last problem. So, to solve that first problem, let's use the steps we have used for this one, too. Um, so, the first step is to look at if there's any parentheses. Now, there's no parentheses or brackets. Now, there's no exponents. And we'll actually do the parentheses and exponents in a later video of order of operations, complex order of operations, um, and along um, order of operation problems, equations. And so, there's no exponents, there's no parentheses or brackets. Now, multiplication and division. Uh, there's a multiplication sign right here. So, there's an the addition sign right there. And always, you know that multiplication always comes before addition. So, you have to do multiplication first. 2 times 6, 12. Uh, I'll do the first two problems on the board, and we can do these three. That will, I will do on the board since it's a negative. Maybe you don't have, um, like, yeah. You, don't, you haven't learned it yet. So, this one, 7 plus 2 times 6. So, 2 times 6. And this dot right here is actually a multiplication sign. So, this and this is a multiplication sign. It's the same thing, but they're both in different forms. Now, 2 times 6. That is equal to 12 plus 7. Now the answer, no, we did plus 7 because that's a, um, the leftover out of 2 times 6. We did plus 7. And plus 7. 19. Now that's the answer. Now you feel like it's so easy. You can do this problem, but I'm going to do it on the board. So, 6 plus 3 times 6. And so 6 plus 3 times 6, you do multiplication first always. 3 times, now I'm going to do like um, regular multiplication type. Just if we got confused with that one. Um, so 3 times 6, 18. Plus 6 because that's a leftover from there. That's equal to 24. So, 19, 24. Okay. Now, 7 plus 1 times 4. I'm not going to do it on the board now. I think you've got the hang of it. And so, I'm not going to do it on the board now. Uh, except for this problem right here. So, 7 plus 1 times 4. You know that multiplication always comes first. So, you do multiplication, um, multiplication first. 1 times 4 is 4, um, so 4 over here, plus 7 because that's the leftover. If you add it, 11. So 11, and 9 plus 8 divided by 2. Now, you might get confused. You know the addition sign, but you don't know the division sign. Right now. It's the same thing as before addition, it's just a different operation. But it's the same thing, you have to do it before, um, before addition. So, uh, 9 plus 8 divided by 2, so you do, on this first, uh, 8 divided by 2 will be 4, and so 4 uh, plus 9 is equal to 13. And as you know, this in this, um, like sort of brackets and absolute value signs are just examples so you can know how these are. Look, um, exponents 3 with the 2 on top. That's just an example, which I followed right here. Now, see, uh, this one is 7 minus 6 times 2. Now, this one is a negative. So, what you have to do first, 6 times 2. You know that one, that's 12. So, 12. And 
Then there's the left there is 7 minus 12. Now you might be really confused. I know sometimes I'll, sometimes you'll get confused by different signs or um, different problems, but it's it's really easy. Now we do seven times uh, seven minus seven. That's um, that's zero, right? Zero. Okay, let's let's get zero. And then minus, let's say minus, and then there's an um. Uh, left over five. So five is the other ones, the other number. So you just do zero minus five. That zero minus five, why would you do that? Erase the zero. Or take off the zero of your mind. If you do any mind. And then if you take off the zero, you get minus five. That's the answer. It's really easy, I know, but it's just hard to think of, and sometimes you think of it a little hard. Now, seven, and I'm not going to do it with, um, on a board. So, seven minus twelve divided by three. And, um, you always do the, div oh, and it's a new operation, subtraction, but you always do division before it. And, so... Division and uh, subtraction. So you always do division first. 12 divided by 3. That's a 4. And you take the leftover. That's 7 minus. 7 minus 4. That's a 3. And uh, I hope you got the hang of it. I hope um, you've learned how to solve a simple order of operation problems. Like these ones and these ones. And thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. And then please, please, please leave a comment on this video. Thank you for watching.